As soon as the ice comes off North Dakota lakes, state fisheries biologists are hard at work. With northern pike and walleye, it's the time when they're uh, spawning, depositing their eggs. So if we want to collect eggs for hatch reproduction, it's the only window to do it. And then one, uh, one other important thing is, is all the handling we do with fish in the spring, because of the colder temperatures, we're able to do it with almost zero uh, mortality to the fish. If biologists wouldn't take eggs from northern pike and walleye every spring, fishing in North Dakota wouldn't quite look the same as it does now. This year we have plans to try to produce and stock 10 million walleye fingerlings. And so you'd have no walleye production. You would have no walleye stocking. Uh, the two, uh, 150 lakes or so that we plan on stocking, they wouldn't get stocked this year. You would be uh, forced to rely on natural reproduction if it occurs. Uh, and it definitely does in many, many areas. Uh, in some cases, not enough to support the fishery and things we do. There are many benefits for anglers because of the spawning and stocking process. We're able to try to sustain those uh, positive higher populations of fish so that the fish are actually biting when an angler goes to a lake they catch fish uh, and if there's lakes that are getting uh, lots of pressure lots of fish harvested we can try to keep young fish in that lake to replace them so there's always young fish behind them coming up that's a good thing fisheries development crews are busy making sure anglers have access to our states lakes and rivers too the boat ramp's there, it's operational, it's all deployed, it's all ready to go, and uh, so they can have a great fishing experience is the ultimate goal. During these uncertain times with the COVID-19 virus, please practice social distancing when enjoying fishing at your favorite lake this spring and summer. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.